Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper Ink. When we have Crossy starting as the Blue Zerg, bottom left hand corner, we have DeWalt as the Gray Protoss. This is going to be on Eclipse, and again, part of the BSL Gosu announcement, or yeah, I think it's the Gosu Show Match announcement tour. And I just want to say, like, coming back to commentary and a bit of this, I didn't realize how mentally stabilizing this was for me. And part of it is, is it's just like being able to put something out in in space like this where you guys can actively en engage and enjoy it. Um, I don't know, I really appreciate all you guys. Really appreciate all you. Maybe I'll expand on that in other commentary. But uh, point being, yeah, I appreciate the, the viewers here. I appreciate kind of, I don't know, the sense of community between everybody. Um, yeah, I derive just an immense amount of enjoyment out of these casts. And uh, yeah, and I don't know. It's just very stabilizing for some reason, especially in what is a rough time in the midst of COVID and the restabilization of COVID and everything else going on. So, yeah, just want to say it out there. Uh, you guys make me happy. I really appreciate it. All right. <clears throat> Getting into the game itself. <laughs> Emotional moment. It looks like DeWalt actually sneaking the probe. So he might go for... I don't think he's going for cheese because he did put that pylon at his natural expansion. But he is cycling this probe all the way around away from this overlord. And he is... Got, maybe this is a reaction to that previous match. And sneaking it all the way to the corner. No, he is going for cheese. So he's sneaking this first probe out. So he wants to plant plant down cannons preemptively at the natural expansion to go for. So he's gone forge first. Unfortunately, it does not look like this is going to pay out because it looks like Kakrossi has opened up with uh, an overpool. So gone, uh, or I guess is that a twelve pool? No, I think that might have been overpool. Um, and so one way or another. This is going to get scattered. I think DeWalt realizes it based on the timer right there. So he's going to go ahead. So he's looking for an opportunity to catch Crossy uh, with the 12th hatch. And instead backing off. Crossy actually moving his initial drone. This is an interesting play. So rather than even dealing with this probe at the natural expansion initially with this, he's just plopping his hatchery at the 12 o'clock location and building initial zerglings. So both players going for mind games right here. I don't know if De DeWalt's going to scout this or not. And he's thrown three... So only two Zerglings in this grouping with that spawning pool down. So DeWalt might think, oh no, this is a full grouping of Zerglings. Did he plop cannons down? So he did put a preventative cannon down. But it looks like he managed to sneak out that Nexus as well. But that is going to be a little bit... That's kind of an interesting play from Crossy overall. And now he's already got another drone in position to grab that third hatchery. So even though he opened up an earlier pool than usual, or I guess earlier pool than just a straight 12 hatch, he is going to, I, I think most of that was just to prevent economic disruption overall. And now, yeah, got that hatchery down. DeWalt, I think has a good sense of what Crossy's up to, but I like what Crossy did there, kind of mixing things up. Did force that cannon. So slowed DeWalt's economy down slightly, but both players now kind of cycling back to more standard play, but interesting shenanigans. From both these guys right off the bat and i gotta say this has been a really fun and interesting series between these two guys i've really enjoyed it so shout out to both of you i don't know if they'll i, I wouldn't bother watching this is one of those things as much as i love you guys if i was these guys I'd be like i know what happened in these games but uh yeah excited these guys are out here i'm excited they're going to be part of bsl 13 and these are this it's like these sort of matches and these sort of mind games that you can expect at this high level it really does feel like i mean i know it's not as good I'll put this out there. I know that these guys are not yet at the level of professional Koreans, but I still feel like it is in extremely entertaining matches, which is, I guess, going to be my side spiel for BSL. Layer halfway finished right here. It looks like this is going to be more of a mutal, well, potentially a mutalisk opener. Here's the thing with Crossy, though, is, is he can go either way. Sometimes he'll sit back to that four hatch play. Sometimes he'll skip Spire altogether if that probe ends up scouting it. Second gas has been plopped down from DeWalt. Set unpredictability an abuse of lack of vision that oftentimes uh, and it looks like he was able to kill that probe initially so th that that really makes Crossy a dangerous player so 12 o'clock location he's got pretty good drone saturation up there he does have the layer down now the question is is, is he going to opt for spire um, or is he just going to sit back and move more towards four hatch play uh, initials out look like it was cycling out the overlord sees it on move out. We got two gas, so it suggests we're going to see more High Templar style play. Actually, level one weapons are being upgraded here from DeWalt. So he might go for the kind of Bisu build variation. 
where he's going for Dark Temple. And that's really what's indicative here is, is that second assimilator. We'll have to, to see whether he goes that Citadel of Dune, grabs additional gateways, and tries to play it a little bit lighter and use essentially air superiority, killing overlords in the air, things from uh, things along those lines. But Crossy looks like he's going to be... This is, yeah, standard Crossy where he shows the lair, pops down to fourth hatch, and his Hydral is done instead, which puts DeWalt kind of in a... And it looks like he's putting down an additional full tank cannon. You can see where having that lack of information... Very... Uh, yeah, puts... Protoss opponents in a very uncomfortable situation. Level 1 weapons being upgraded, going for this, and so it's going to be able to sneak out, see this fourth hatchery, and my question is, is what does DeWalt do to adjust his build order from there? Crossy is, I think, doing a pretty good job, yeah, just saturating these expansions, getting a handful of Hydralisks up to deal with this. The initial Zealots moving out, this is going to force a handful of units to be built with that initial Corsair to repel the Zerglings, and this is this is either going to require more Zerglings or more Hydralisks. The initial Corsair wanting to get an Overlord kill to try to slow this economy down, taking some damage that's going to draw this initial Hydralisk out. That 12 o'clock location does not have a Sultan Colony yet, an additional Hatchery going down there. There's only, what is that, four Zerglings to deal with three Zealots? So there is an opportunity here for DeWalt to get some additional damage down, and between the threat of these Corsair towards the front door, that's going to pin the Hydralisks to the front, but actually DeWalt backing off. Backing off the 12 o'clock location, even though I, I feel like that was a very vulnerable location to assault. So moving back, the Corsair is going to be able to go and get the scouting information. Now he realizes he's going up against more 4-hatch play, some Zerglings, trying to chase those Zealots down, get a tap of additional damage. And you can see DeWalt responding by plopping down a significant a amount of additional gateways, also getting Zealot leg speed. Is producing High Templar and getting Psy Storm, rather than, because like, keep in mind... I think it was two matches ago, maybe two matches ago. Crossy managed to catch DeWalt with his pants down. Now we're seeing a good SimCity up here with the Evolution Chamber upgrading Spines 1. Managed to catch him with his pants down without Psy Storm, without Dark Templar, uh, without things to basically repel the Hydra Bust as the follow-up. Um, Corsairs are going to manage to find this Overlord in the upper left-hand corner. That is going to... Well, I think this is briefly going to put Crossy in the red, but not for long. Funimanai's Carapace is being upgraded. Overlord should be, I don't know, in their five seconds it's hard to tell from these bars up here i'm also debating like man should i take those off i kind of like them in the corner because i am anyway i won't comment on that right this second zealot lake speed is going to be here momentarily we do have six zealots uh, and a high templar with potential storms and reinforcements to back up uh, a potential attack crossy is continuing to drone up he's just now getting lurker tech so it is up to dewalt to slow crossy's economy down at this stage of things a sixth hatchery being planted for Crossy. So Crossy looks like he is opting to potentially stay on layer tech for an extended period of time. I believe that is usually what that indicates. And go for heavier Hydralisk counts in the mid-game. Let's see if DeWalt can cycle across that 12 o'clock location and find that out. Overlord speed is going to be finished momentarily, which is going to free up those Hydralisks to start moving around the map. Zelt leg speed also finished. They're starting to move to the 12 o'clock location. So Crossy kind of setting up for a defensive position he's gonna wants to buy himself some time to get that lurker tech up maybe from there he can switch into a lurker tank contain dewalt needs to stay out on the map and keep these zealots roaming around making crossy's uh, kind of doing the opposite thing to crossy putting him in the dark as to whether he where he's going to strike next and force more units to be built rather than <coughs> force uh, crossy to try to excuse me uh, force the map control game i like the overlords starting to move out uh, there are only two corsair they do have level one weapons so they need to be somewhat careful out in the field and the court and the hydrals are going to need to kind of keep an eye on where these corsairs at are at to kind of pin them down you can see the hydrals going up to defend a single zealot is maybe going to lose his life right there but i like the movement from dewalt to move these corsair out to make sure those overlords can't roam freely to deny information to crossy the zealots are sneaking up Going to check this expansion, but also make their way around to go ahead and attack this 12 o'clock location before Lurker Tech's online. Ventral Sacks also being upgraded in the background. So eggs being morphed. You can see the Hydralisks are out of position because of those Corsairs. And the Zealots just flooding in. The Hydralisks pinned out by their own SimCity. There is one Lurker being morphed, but it's going to be delayed. And in the meantime, it looks like DeWalt is going to be able, well, might be able to get some damage done. Crossy drone drilling across preemptively and actually pulling several drones out. The rest of the Hydralisks pushing up to go ahead and clear the rest of these zealots. And I got to say, so yes, there was a bit of economic disruption, but there's only a handful of Hydralis killed. And I believe most of these drones survived. 
And the Zealots did not get much else out of this, so a pretty decent defense. More Zealots have managed to pour out of this base. In the meantime, DeWalt has done kind of the typical thing, added a whole bunch of gateways. He's getting uh, Dragoons up. He has his observatory up. Has fielded kind of that forward army. He needs to start thinking about, you know, striking, doing damage, slowing things down. Potentially, he's got... How is he doing for the on the upgrade battle? Level 1 weapons, level 1 armor is along the way, but actually Crossy is matching him currently as far as that <clears throat> overall build. And you can see the Hydra is starting to move out, take map control, or I guess not take map control, but at least be on the map to keep an eye on where DeWalt is moving. One grouping of Hydra to the north. Looks like a single Zergling trying to camp out that 9 o'clock location. DeWalt moving in to go ahead and clear that out for himself to get a potential third base. And now the question from Crossy comparatively is what is, it looks like he's going to go for a drop into that back corner. There are cannons. It looks like there's already cannons. And this might be DeWalt just knowing Crossy's style. Also, single zealot camping that bottom right-hand corner. Some Heidel's moving up, eating a huge side storm. It looks like Crossy, while he was keeping an eye on something else, just getting a... Dota and a few Hydralisks right there. And this reminds me, I think there was the previous match, game one. Where we saw a fake drop attempt. Let's see if this, this time the drop looks like it is going to go in and potentially not be scouted from DeWalt. So DeWalt moving a... But here's the thing. This is a big army for DeWalt. He has level 1 weapons, level 1 armor. He has observers. He has a good amount of size storm. And I don't know that as Crossy's dropping, is he going to be able to stop this from just flooding and taking out his natural expansion? Some, It looks like a... So dropping in that natural expansion. This is... Oh, and DeWalt a little bit out of position, but he is getting some good size storms out of it. Army not fully co cohesive, but I believe Crossy's done enough damage at this natural where it might trigger a counterattack from DeWalt, but these Hydralisks, or sorry, these High Templar are a bit out of position. Some Lurkers are down. Some Overlords a bit forward, so they're taking, uh, I think they're actually buying Crossy some time to rebuild some units. He's pushing forward, trying to pick off the Observers so those Lurkers can be that static defense he needs, and the Observers critically picked off. But they are out of position. They're more towards the middle of the map. He needs to get some more Lurkers towards his natural expansion. Now actually drawing those Lurkers forward, are they going to die to the... No, one of them dies to the Dragoons, but the rest stand, and that is going to prevent reinforcements from flooding out. That Hydralis Den might go down, and that Hydralis Den would have been a key component in this defense to build additional Lurkers. More Lurkers trying to push forward. This natural expansion being heavily damaged. In the meantime, at the main, it looks like any sort of uh, damage there was cleaned up. The drones making their way towards the main. Another Hydralis Den being built there, but there's still plenty of units. It looks like absolutely everywhere finally getting cleaned up. Some drones dying, so unfortunately at the end of this, I think these zealots are going to get cleaned up. At the end of this, DeWalt is going to end up significantly behind because his natural, well, that natural expansion now remining, but he's down to 31 probes. He's behind in the overall worker count to Crossy. Crossy still has a standing army. He got that Hydralis Den right back down. He didn't end up losing a huge amount of drones. He ended up losing some drones. Already had Hydralis in a position to take down that 9 o'clock base. And some probes, it looks like, snuck out to the upper left-hand corner. Maybe they can sneak a ninja expansion, but it looks like there's already an overlord to spot them out there as well. I think Crossy, realizing that he's in a strong position, flooding out the Zerglings to go ahead and try to, yeah, scout and find any additional hidden base that DeWalt might have. So now with the latent lurkers that he has, if he can just position the lurkers, which I'm not sure where they're at. I haven't kept a good eye. I ended up killing his own unit right there. I'm glad I caught that on camera. The overlord's actually, and I love what Crossy's actually done in the meantime, taking vision off, this is realizing the situation he's in, realizing that he just has to keep an eye on DeWalt's army. He's got a huge spread. I believe the Corsair has got taken out somewhere in the midst of all this. He's got a huge spread of vision to keep an eye on the, on this attack force. All he has to do is continue to macro up, continue to defend up. If he wants to go ahead and secure, deny the third, another drop coming in. When did he even have an opportunity? I think he took the army that was staging at the 9 o'clock location, redropped it, back down to 20 probes, now all Crossy has to do when this game is, is eliminate this army out on the field. There are observers right there. Some Hydralis grouping up. A Lurker plopping down. No Overlord to pick off that. So the, that, But the Zealots are running right on top of that Lurker. Keep in mind this is level 2 Spines as well. So that is a lot of damage done very, very rapidly. Good Psy Storm on the exiting Hydralisk. Another Lurker trying to move in position. But keep in mind that can get picked off very, very rapidly. DeWalt now backing off. Looks like he's going to end up losing his main. 
And now DeWalt in a desperate situation. He's down to 11 probes, so he's got to win the game, if he's going to win it, with what he has on the field. Critically, he needs to protect those observers if that's if this miracle is going to happen. He's trying to reposition. He's making his way back to the natural expansion. He does have a High Templar. does not look like it has a Psy Storm, so he's got to get it done through Zealot and Dragoon Micro alone, which is going to be a big feat. So moving this army forward, he's using that High Templar, I think, as bait. But more reinforcements, but he's got to hurry up because the more time he sits, the more time this is going to be for Crossy to continue to build an attack force to engage this army and take it out. So recycling, making his way back towards the front, maybe trying to buy himself some time for some side storm. The Hydralisks being picked off on the front, more Hydralisks trying to go for a pincer attack initial and just units getting picked off. Crossy being very patient with this. More reinforcements running up, which I think with what's left of DeWalt's bank, mostly in Zealots, the main still getting obliterated. I believe the, yeah, the observatory was taken out. And so there's not even detectors there. The detectors are on the forward field, not at the main to help deal with that army. A bunch of Hydalus bunched up around that SimCity. Again, trying to, yep, and yeah, DeWalt gonna GG. He just realized he did not have it. Did not have it and did not have enough to just break through and Crossy would be able to uh, just have enough of an economy to break through. That, yeah, great play. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.